when we talk about action that takes a lot of time and we have seen that uh, that even with climate action if you see uh, we started the negotiations in 1992 but even today we are languishing well behind all the targets and all the goals that were set even within the kyoto protocol right so when we talk about say local governments and also uh, national governments acting on climate of course emergency preparedness early warning systems even india talked about having uh, more climate finance being directed to loss and damage because uh, heat waves are unavoidable now you cannot avoid them so if you have unavoidable disasters well, how do you deal with them and this is not a problem that was created by the developing world in the first place so uh, obviously the industrialized countries need to step in and start mitigating as urgently as possible that needs to be the first step to actually put in place a certain amount of trust in the entire uh, policy arena of climate change for developing countries to follow suit because obviously the developing countries also need to do something right so adaptation plans are important emergency uh, plans like heat uh, health action plans for for example Ahmedabad for instance is the first uh, Asian city to have a, a heat uh, health action plan Similarly, other cities in India are following suit. I'm sure it's the same in Europe as well as these heat waves become more and more common and you have more deaths and more damages and more economic losses. This is going to become a major problem. And uh, yeah, cities in particular, which have this characteristic of urban heat island, right, where you have more concrete and more infrastructure, which traps more heat and creates this effect of, you know, and where there are less amount of trees, for instance, it creates more and more uh, heat uh, uh, entrap 